Hey everyone, welcome to this week's family worship. It's so lovely to see you all. I'm Rachel and it's so good to worship with you all today. Now, what have been some of your highs and lows of the week? Why don't you have a little chat in your little families? The best part of my week was getting to spend some time with my live group on Zoom. We did a quiz. The low bit is though that my house got flooded and it means I'm currently living in temporary housing, but it's okay. Now, we're gonna get up, jump around and worship together as we sing and dance to the way. We're going to be taking a look in the Bible now, in a book called Acts. This book shares stories about the disciples after Jesus left them. You can follow along in Acts chapter 4, reading verses 5 to 12. The next day, the rulers, the elders and the teachers of the law met in Jerusalem. And as the high priest was there, and so were Caiaphas, John, Alexander and others of the high priest's family. They had Peter and John brought before them and began to question them. By what power or what name did you do this? Then Peter, filled with the Holy Spirit, said to them, Rulers and elders of the people, if we are being called to account today for an act of kindness shown to a man who was lame and are being asked how he was healed, then know this. You and all the people of Israel, it is by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom you crucified, but whom God raised from the dead, that this man stands before you healed. Jesus is the stone you builders rejected, which has become the cornerstone. Salvation is found in no one else, for there is no other name under heaven given to mankind by which we must be saved. We're going to focus in on verse 12, which says, Salvation is found in no one else, for there is no other name under heaven given to mankind by which we must be saved. Now, adverts on TV or on TikTok or Instagram or on the radio promise to make our lives better. Things like new devices to make things a bit easier. Things like new toys which make our life more fun. We're told that all these new things will save us from a boring or hard life. Can you think of something 
anything that might completely change your life. Knowing how imaginative you all are, I'm sure you came up with some really great answers. Some people might have thought of toys or gadgets or money. Sure, those things are fun, helpful, and in some cases, really important, but can they save your life? Probably not. In this story, Jesus' disciples shared the only thing with power to really change our lives and save us. And that person is Jesus. Jesus died to save us and is the only thing that can take sins away when we believe in him so that we can live life with God again. Without Jesus, we couldn't live our lives to the fullest with God. That is why only he can really change our lives. But sometimes we forget about that. We become so focused in on other stuff that we think won't make our lives better that we forget that it is actually only Jesus that can really save us. Don't worry if you sometimes forget about that. I do too. What stuff do you tend to focus on instead of Jesus? We've now got an activity to do to help us pray and think about this a little bit more. focused on God and things that we do that aren't focused on God and things that we also need to be doing a little bit more. I've written pray in every box because I pray every day. I've written swimming for every Friday. Every Saturday, we do Zoom meetings with the church family. The extra thing that I can do to focus more on God is sing worship songs. The extra thing that I can do to focus more on God is to tell people about God a bit more. Here are our finished calendars. Thank you God for helping us throughout our daily activities and help us to do the extra things in our calendars. In Jesus' name, Amen. Bye! Bye. I hope you had fun doing that activity and I hope you really enjoyed family worship today. It's been great hanging out with you and I can't wait to see you soon. Bye!